What's cracking, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Nicholas. Big Dog's got eight fantasy football. Today's gonna be a little different. No statistics, no numbers. This is gonna be about, you know that saying, catch a fish for your boy, he's eating that night. However, you teach him how to fish, your boy's always gonna eat. We're out here, this is for you guys, this is for y'all. I want you to become better fantasy football players. I'm gonna teach y'all how to fish today. This actually might hurt my bottom line, but I'm here to teach you. I wanna, I wanna make sure everyone's eating. All the big dogs eating today. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. So we're just gonna do my top five favorite resources, favorite fantasy football websites that you guys can use to get different stats, news, measurables, uh, all these different things. So it's gonna be a good one for you guys today. It's a quick one. And if you enjoy the video, my draft guide is up for pre-order and this will have not just five, but probably 10, maybe 12 of my other favorite free resources or sometimes paid in the draft guide, which also has sleepers, busts, all that kind of stuff. So the draft guide is available for pre-order right now on the site. It'll be linked in the description. Price goes up July 1st. So snag it at a lower price while you can. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, so we're starting off with my first and foremost favorite fantasy football resource, and this is just rotoworld.com. Rotoworld.com, player news. So you, you go to Roto World, and then NFL. Have a day. Player news. This shit is basically Instagram for fantasy football players. I mean, I open it so many times a day during football season. Like, if I went to a doctor, I would 100% be diagnosed as having an addiction to Roto World. I have the same thing with Instagram probably too, but basically this is updated minute by minute. Roto World blurbs, that's what they call these little sections of their NFL player news websites. They have a player and the news that happens and they're updated like by, by the minute, if not by the hour. Um, it's all relevant to fantasy football. Basically, it's any news that happens for any player, any team, any coach, and like literally anything. And they'll take the player, they'll tell you what the news is first, and then they'll have their own little twist and spin on what it means for the team, what it means for fantasy football purposes, all that kind of stuff. And they do have an app, which is exactly the same thing that you could download. It's just a Roto World app, and they have the player news section right there. So it's any relevant information, injuries, coach talks, statistics, roster moves, along with the source that it came from. Like down here, it'll usually say it. You know, it gives a little fantasy football analysis and I think they like to push their agenda on a lot of things. Um, if they have a certain view about a player, they like to put that in like almost every blurb that they do. But that's neither here nor there. I'm not going to disrespect the, the work ethic and the, and the work they put in to make this thing go how it goes. And uh, Roto World is definitely something you should be checking out multiple times a week during the fantasy football season and the off season if you want to just stay up to date on any player. And you could break it down by team. You could break it down by position here you could break it you could just look at specific players and when you go to the player it has all the the recent blurbs from them along with statistics and stuff so that's number one number two is here we go have a day ff today so fantasy football today now this is just like the home of every single stat this is fantasy football stats at its finest you know bdge in the upcoming season, I'm working on a master sheet that has not only these stats with attempts, yards, you know, touchdowns, receiving numbers and stuff like that, but we're looking to compile everything into a master sheet in terms of snap counts, snap percentages, targets in the red zone, targets inside the 10, inside the five, all those kind of stuff. So every statistic you could possibly think of, we are compiling it together. We're going to have a master sheet out eventually that updates weekly. So stay tuned for that. But for now, this is free. So you could use this and it has basically everything going back to 2001 it's super aesthetic you could break it down by quarterback running back all the positions every year every week the last three weeks season playoffs like it's crazy and then you could click on individual players obviously and they have a little biography they have up-to-date news they have the stats of all the prior seasons that you can compare them to each other and they even have game logs going back a few years so you could look at individual games and all this stuff it's actually really really crazy it's really an awesome uh resource and to be honest with you if this was not free i would probably pay for it you can even go in create an account which i have you can create it's completely free and then put your league's uh settings into the account so then when you're looking at statistics you could break down all the fantasy points by you know different websites yahoo 
FFPC, and then you have your league. So you put your custom settings, and you can see the fantasy points are going to be different depending on um, your league settings, and, and you'll get a better better idea for rankings and, and who actually performed well in the league settings that, that you play with. So this is an awesome, awesome tool for statistics. Now, the third tool we have is Rotoviz Game Splits app. They call it an app. I'm not really even sure why, because it's not an app. It's just a website. It's rotoviz.com slash game dash splits. So I'm going to have all these things linked in the description. So do not worry about that. Um, here is basically, you know, you ever heard like random wild stats from fantasy guys like, oh, in games that Aaron Rodgers played in from 2014 to 2016 against top 12 pass defenses at home, Jordy Nelson averaged five and a half, like shit like that. You think that you think these guys go back and manually, um, manually find these stats like that is 100 percent not the case. This free website from Rotoviz gives you the um, opportunity to look at different game splits for players. So for instance, right, I was talking about Jordy Nelson. I'm talking about Jordy Nelson, his PPR points, all his reception stats, while Aaron Rodgers has played with him from, let's say, 2012 to 2016, um, past defenses, top 10 in the league, and boom, you have in split. So anyone that falls within while he's playing with Rodgers, 2012 to 2016, PPR, all that stuff, and it shows you the comparison. So obviously against top 10 defenses, it's probably going to be tougher to score than as opposed to, boom, like outside of top 10 defenses. So this is just a really, really crazy tool you can get granular with, and it, it can help you with like sit start questions. So for instance, like if you're like, mm, do I want to start Andy Dalton? this week, but Tyler Eifert is out, right? We look at their statistics with and without Eifert, and you gotta put in, they have a, a bunch of different statistics that you could put in, but I'm just gonna go with all the passing statistics. And this is basically breaking down. Eifert, 38 games with Tyler Eifert, I mean Dalton, 38 games with Tyler Eifert, 39 games without him. So you can see he's a much better fantasy player. So this could help you with sit start questions, get super granular. Um, I know it could seem a little overwhelming and confusing when you start to mess around with it, but it's super easy once you get the hang of it. And it's a very, very cool, useful tool that is completely free. So definitely take advantage of that um, since you have the chance. Now, before we get to number four, and this is actually kind of a resource for you guys, but I wanna thank today's sponsor for this video, fantasyjocks.com the number one industry leader in fantasy sports equipment. I'm talking about these belts. I'm talking about the rings, the trophies. Really awesome stuff for your league. They have draft boards as well. So make sure you grab one during the summer. It's a really cool kit, actually. It comes with the draft board that you can do with live drafts. It has all the player stickers, koozies, uh, markers to, to mark up the draft board. And they have a, a bunch of different kits that have different products and stuff in there. They got the, the championship banner. They got the loser plate in case you want to throw that on there for whoever takes last place in your league um, but the belts are something that i really really suggest when you guys get there they're really awesome like this one's brand new um, and, and it's just really cool really good quality ten dollars from each of your league mates five dollars if you want to just grab a ring really cool trophies really really high quality i promise you that like look how cool these trophies are 45 bucks for the Lombardi Trophy, any fantasy equipment for your league, and they have stuff for fantasy baseball as well. So it's not just fantasy football, it's any of these sports. So make sure you check out fantasyjocks.com. You could use promo code TAKE10 to get 10% off your order. All right, let's move on to resource number four. This is Pro Football Reference, PFR, specifically the red zone statistics. Now, you can basically find any statistic on here, but they're more for, this is more forwarded to real NFL numbers, not so much fantasy football, whereas FF Today was all tailored to fantasy football stuff. Now, the red zone section, so you go to PFR, Seasons, you can go to, actually, uh, whatever, I'll link it all in the description, like I said, but you can go by passing, receiving, rushing, you could go back, I think it goes back to the year 2000, which is crazy, um, and you can look at all stats for individual players, in terms of what they do inside the red zone, what they do inside the 10 zone. Even rushing goes all the way granularly inside the five yard line. So you could see the amount of attempts they had, even says the percentage of the rushes. So Gurley had 90% of his team's rushes inside the five yard line, which is a staggeringly high number. And you could see uh, even Mixon had 86%, that's pretty high. So you can look at that and then you could also click on the player themselves like individually. 
and it's pretty crazy. You can go in and see the actual plays, um, yards to go for the red zone. Uh, he had 28 plays from the seven to 10 yard line. So 45% of those 10 zone plays were from there or red zone plays, whatever. Anyways, you can get super granular and you could check out receiving as well. Like who had the most red zone targets, who had the most highest reception total inside the 10 yard line. Uh, what percentage of their team's targets they got near the end zone. So it's just very, very cool resource for you to see. So PFR, Red Zone Statistics. And the last resource, free resource. What do I got in here? Player Profiler. Now, Player Profiler. How do I describe them? They're not a stat... Oh, they have it right there. That's their slogan. One player, every metric. So they're about metrics, not statistics. So they have every single player in here, basically. Um, well, yeah, we'll start with Alvin Kamara right here. Type in any player you want. It has all their measurables, but what they do is they look at metrics, like the 40-yard dash, weight-adjusted speed score, burst score, the one everyone loves, the spark score, and it shows you their percentile of where they ranked. So Alvin Kamara's 4.56 40-yard dash was in the 59th percentile. The speed score is weight-adjusted. So a guy like Leonard Fournette, who might have ran a 4.540, would be in the 59th percentile, but his weight-adjusted speed score would be up like 90. We'll look at Leonard Fournette right now. Where you at, dog? His speed score is all the way up there. And they also have burst score agility as long as the player tests um, those different things. Like in terms of the broad jump, they use different factors to factor it out. But it's not just the metrics. They have different efficiency numbers down here, which is very cool. So this is like, I mean, the only problem with efficiency statistics, excuse me, I would say, is that they're, they're somewhat subjective. So for instance, like yards created, right? Um, yards created would be, this person watching the film and saying, oh, Fournette made that missed tackle. Therefore, he created the yard. So it's not always objective, um, but it's good to see nonetheless, they have front um, stack boxes, stack fronts, base fronts, all these little numbers down here, which are cool. Uh, these are granular enough that you're not gonna get them elsewhere. So cool to look at, um, take some of them with a grain of salt and they have all the rankings and stuff. Quarterbacks, they have deep passes and stuff. So. It's pretty cool to look at. Player profiler is one of my favorite things to look at when analyzing a player. I want to see his measurables, his metrics, how efficient he was last year. So that's a good one. That's going to wrap up the top five free resources. I hope you guys found that valuable and learned. My draft guide, my ultimate BDGE fantasy football draft guide for the 2018 season is available for pre-order purchase right now. If you enjoyed the top five resources, in that draft guide, we'll have at least 10, maybe 12 of my favorite resources, along with sleepers, busts, rankings, positional rankings, tiers, dynasty, all that kind of stuff. So that is available for pre-order. It'll be the first link in the description. Prices will go up July 1st, so snag that while you can. And again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. If you did enjoy, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next video. This is a Fleasy Deep production.